My name is Nina Patel, I'm the EAL coordinator at Hatch End High School and I'm recommending the recorder pen and it allows you to listen to subject specific key vocabulary in various other languages. I have here the English Terms Explained poster which you can use with the talking pen and the way in which you use this is to first click on the start box in the top right hand corner, then select the language you wish to use, for example Polish. Now you're ready to use the pen by clicking on one of the square boxes. What it will do is give you the definition of the word as well as saying the word in English and an example. Alliteration. Alliteracja. Jest to powtórzenie jednej lub kilku liter. And although there are many languages available to use, we do have the ability now with the recorder pen to record other languages and add those on at the bottom. One of the new possibilities is the new talking labels which are available. You switch the mode to record. Record. My name is Nina. Press the stop key. You can peel the sticky label off and put it anywhere you like. For example, I can stick it here on me. When I press it with the pen, my name is Nina. It will play back what I've recorded. Students that have used the product absolutely love it. They um, are keen to use it, they enjoy recording on there, playing back to the others within the group. It's been used in mainstream because it's got the headphone capability on there so it's not disruptive to everybody else and they absolutely love it. I think the recorder pen is fantastic. Um, it works really, really well, especially with the students coming in with little or no English. The only thing I would say is we're a very big school for EAL learners and we have over 40 languages and it only covers um, a majority of those. So for me, if we could have some more languages on the pen, it would be worthwhile for our school. It's actually quite cool. It's one of those things that the kids will love to use and um, they'll really enjoy it when you get it out and find it quite a lot of fun and I find it quite fun as well. However, that's a problem, it's a bit too fun in that the educational value of it can get lost in the fun of clicking on it and listening to it talking. The students' response was really positive. They did really enjoy carrying it out. They themselves could not really see any disadvantages um, of using this, um, except for some of the words. They sort of said, oh, it's a bit easy. But then I guess when they come in, we need to evaluate how much they know. The um, recordable items, I do find them much more useful. You can put them in books, for example, next to complex terms, which will explain exactly what you want to explain for that particular lesson. What I really like about this resource is that you can make your own posters. So for example, I did this worksheet on cells. The cytoplasm is where chemical reactions occur. You can re-record on the stickers, so the life of them is actually quite high. Um, we tried it out with the science and the maths and they were fantastic. Um, English and geography we haven't tried out, but I'm sure that they'll be just as, as successful. But something like this, which is so easy to use, I don't see why every department shouldn't have one. As an initial outlay, compared to other resources available, it's probably not that expensive. However, for the amount of use that I feel you get out of it, I do think it's a big investment. Um, it can be used by a majority of students um, within the same language, so it, it, it can be used more than once and therefore it is value for money.